Hi, this is the first lecture of the series Coding for Interviews, specially designed for Target TCS program. This series will cover all the important programs which will come across in the interviews. This includes the Fibonacci series, prime numbers, GCD, LCM, and so on. I'll also tell you the mechanism of how we have designed these video lectures. The first part of the lecture is the approach of solving the question. The second part is the code itself. The best way to go about is learn the approach, take an editor, do for yourself, and then validate our validate your code with our solution. That's the good way. All right, let's get started. Write a program to check if the given number is even or odd. Before we write the program, you should have an understanding of how do we find a number is even or odd. For this, we'll be using modulus operator. What it does is, it basically gives us the remainder. For example, 5 modulus 2, it is 1. This is because if we divide 5 with 2, 2 to 4, we have remainder 1. On similar lines, 8 modulus 2 is 0 because 8 divided by 2 is 2 into 4 is 8, therefore remainder 0. Here if you carefully observe, when we take the modulus with 2, for odd numbers we get remainder as 1 and for even numbers the remainder is 0. This is the logic we will be using for this program. So let me write the pseudocode. If condition, here the condition is n modulus 2, if at all if it becomes 0, then that number is even, else it is odd. Alright, let's write our first program to check if the number is even or odd. The first line in the program should be your standard library inclusions, so that's hash include stdio.h so that is standard input output header file then you can go with void main this is the first function that will be executed sometimes the compiler gives the warnings that the written type cannot be void so for that i'm removing that and making it int now let's get into the code so here they're asking us to check the given number to be even or odd so first we should take the input for a number so Let's take a variable int and let's call it as a number. And then let me take the number from the user from the terminal. So the first message that will be displayed on the screen is enter an integer. Once the user will enter the integer, you should be able to scan that. So for that, we'll use scanf. And to pick up the integer, we use percentile d and the address for it ampersand number so basically the number whatever will be coming over here will be stored into this particular address and because it's an integer we are putting it as percentage d all right now let's write the logic check if the number is even or odd if number modulus 2 if it becomes 0 then we're going to print the number is even else the number is odd let me also add a line breaker just to make it a little neat all right we have saved it now let's try to compile this all right here we have the first terminal here i'll be compiling the code so if i list out the file items we have this first file one underscore check even odd dot c so the command for compiling is gcc one underscore check even odd dot c space uh, dash o and then the output uh, file name so output slash let me get as one all right probably it is compiled now let's come to the output folder output is this particular folder now just to make it simple i have opened one more terminal and i am putting that as an output folder so now let's open this here if i list it out 
you can clearly see one is there so basically the code was compiled now to output the code the command is dot slash the file name here the file name is one now type enter okay we got the command enter the integer so let me give it as 20 the number is even absolutely good let's try one more let's give it as 19 it's all perfectly working all right i hope you're able to pick up the first program on checking out the even on odd number mm -hmm.